problem. Yeah, let me fix your hair. Okay, good. <laughs> Man, your he flies down. <laughs> <laughs> That's on purpose. Yeah. That's on purpose. <laughs> okay, so we're talking about the channeled uh, King Vision blade here. And what I'm going to do is, if you're going to be using these hypercurve video orgoscopes, I've had failures to intubate simply because I can't get these things in the mouth. You're going to notice the channel is rather obnoxious. If you've got a patient with a very small mouth, you may need to recognize that using the channel blade is not going to be the best first approach. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to utilize a uh, just a, a simple wooden tongue depressor or a yank hour suction to push the lower jaw down and move the tongue out of the way. And I'm going to place this in the mouth. If I'm having a supreme amount of problems getting this in, these things can actually be placed either sideways or literally upside down and turned in the pharynx. This was this was originally described with the air track and they call it a flip maneuver. You can look it up, flip, F-L-I-P. I'm in the molecular now. I'm going to expose the larynx and I'm going to go ahead and advance the tracheal tube and it's going into the esophagus and now I'm going to back it up. If I want to guide this tube, you can't guide it here, but you can guide it at the 15 millimeter connector. Look how I can wag back and forth and actually change the tracheal tube's trajectory by literally wagging the 15 millimeter connector left and right. See that? How mm -hmm. the tube moves? Okay, so that's fine. Now you could also use an air, either a suction catheter or a bougie. An alternative method is actually to use the GlideScope rigid stylet right through the tracheal tube in the channel. And this gives you real directional control inside the air track channel. So watch how I can just take this and turn this, keep it in the channel, and turn it left and right, and pass it up into the larynx. Pop the, the stylet, of course. See how I can re-grip this and take this out myself? Okay. The samurai technique. Right, taking this, the sword out of the, out of the sheath. Now we're going to try the uh, non-channel blade. 